Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video my sports game trivia. In this video, I'm going to go over a college basketball game for Wednesday, February 23rd, 2021. I'm going to show you both sides of the game, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think is going to win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for whatever reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these games, you have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your pick today. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm going to be doing Alabama, the 6th seed, versus Arkansas, the 20th seed. I have my daily numbers on one side, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew. And then I have my game numbers on this side. Up top here is the away team, Alabama. Their season record, conference record, and their coach. Head-to-head -head record between the two as well as for the season. And then a home team at the bottom, their coach record, season record, and conference record. So if Alabama was going to win this game, these are the numbers you're probably going to want to look for. So let's start this off assuming Alabama is going to win. So first things first, it's the Alabama's coach's 194th game. Today is a day leaving 194 left on the Hebrew Civil. Maybe that's a good thing for Alabama. It's the 55th game for the coach as a coach for Alabama. Today's the 55th day of the Gregorian. With the win, Alabama, their coach would sit on 20 losses as a coach for Alabama in his 55th game. And the number 20 sums to 55. Alabama is going to be playing the current 20 seed, Arkansas. Again, 20 sums to 55. Alabama's coach can sit on 20 losses in his 55th game as a coach for Alabama. Arkansas, it's their coach's 55th game as a coach for Arkansas as well. As the current 20 seed, the Alabama team can go ahead and sweep Arkansas 2-0 head-to-head against for this season with a win. Alabama, they would pick up their 19th win for this season. Today with 67 date numerology on the Gregorian, the 19th prime number. And for Arkansas, if Arkansas was going to win this game, these are the numbers that you're probably going to want to look at. It's the 64th all-time head-to-head matchup between these two teams. Alabama coach could get a 64th loss for his career. Today does have 13 date numerology on the Gregorian, and Alabama would sit on 13 conference wins with a loss. Today has 31 date numerology on the Gregorian as well. 31 is the 11th prime number. Arkansas can go ahead and get revenge and tie one-to-one head-to-head -head against Alabama for this season like an 11. It's, uh, it's Arkansas's 23rd game for the season 23, sums to 55, today being the 55th day on the Gregorian. It also sums to 163, which is the 38th prime number. And the Arkansas coach can get his 38th win as a coach for Arkansas and his 55th game as a coach for Arkansas. What's interesting about that is the number 38 also sums to 148 as well as 149, the 35, 35th prime number. But he can also get his 148th win as he gets his 38th win, which connects to that 23 number. Arkansas would get their 35th head-to-head -head win against Alabama. 149, the 35th prime number. Today also has 47 date numerology. 47 sums to 149, the 35th prime number.
Alabama comes into this game with an 18 and 5 record for this season. And Arkansas, if they win this game, they would become 18 and 5 for a season record. When I was playing around with numbers looking at this and I typed in 185, I saw that 185 sums to 224. Today is February 24th, 2 slash 224. The day Alabama comes in with an 18 5 record. And potentially with the win, Arkansas be can become 18 and 5 for a record with the win. So interesting narratives for both sides. Hopefully I've given you enough information on who you think would win or what makes the most sense to you and uh, enough information for you to build on top of. Different things you can do is name Gematria, coach name Gematria, birthdays to and from, check out the start players, location, the stadium, things like that. There's a bunch of different stuff you can also add on top of this if you want to. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks for watching.